G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. After, uh, I don't know how many times I've played this game over and over again. So, I think I finally cracked it. And so the last eight times I've played, I get to a stage and then it, it, it all falls apart and it glitches and it all, either I die or, or whatever. But this time I've been watching other people and... Uh, getting tips and tricks off everyone. Sorry gaming, I still haven't watched your video like I promised. I will definitely do it after this video. But anyway, here we go. So basically what I did was just get stuck into farming as early as possible and then build as many houses as I possibly could to make sure that I have um, enough people and then really just keep an eye on everything and make sure that we've got enough food but this uh, just says wheat production with the with the ovens you just don't have any problems so that my first crop was at 1.3 K and then all I had to do was just keep building everything to go on top of it Anyway, that's the main thing. Make sure you got food, otherwise you're going to die. Uh, what am I doing now? Forager. Hunt. Is that what it's asking me to do? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so get on top of your food early on and then the game seems to be a lot easier. Then get stuck into getting as many ox as you can. I've got four. I could get more if I wanted to. I've been selling. I've, I started off with pelts and then I went to leather. And I've just been selling them and you get, I don't know, five or six coin every ten minutes or something like that. But anyway, then you can actually buy stuff. So if we go into a couple of the farms, we've got chickens here, we've got goats in this one, and they give you milk, and the more money you've got, you can just keep upgrading. But I haven't seen any video where anyone's actually upgraded, like upgraded the houses to level 2. So we need two types of clothing, we need entertainment, we need faith. So I've pretty much done everything. I've got everything set up. I've got the tavern there. I've got my brewer over here. I've got my malt house. I've got everyone's in there. I've still got three people yet to be assigned. So I'll just come in here for the time being and see if we can get as much stuff as we can in. So I've got my barley coming in to make the beer. I've got my flax in to make the linen, which is my second type of clothing. I've got my leather already made up early, that's what I've been selling. And I've got my wheat, and I've got two... Oh, I don't have anyone. I don't... Oh, it's under construction. So I've, I've got so much wheat now that I've got two mills going up, and I've got three communal ovens, and they're all full of people. So I'm just making bread hand over fist. Got a couple of little, um, little plots of vegetables coming in. I've got eggs, I've got milk. So I've got no problems with with anything to do with food now. So the last two times I've got to this stage, the game's just crashed. But apparently there's just been an update. Now, kudos to the dev who's put an update on a demo. that's unheard of so a one-man operation has updated his own demo in just a couple of days and you've and you've got a triple a studio that have battlefield battlefield 1942 they took about eight months to update their game and then when they did update it it was fucked all right and then it took another six months for him to update it so kudos to this guy um, he's made a really beautiful game. It looks fantastic. It's playing really well. It's very interesting. There's lots of shit going on. Um, if you don't watch the game, you, you die. 
it's that simple so it's a really brutal game and if he puts this much detail into the combat like and the and the d diplomacy of taking over and and I'm really interested to see what happens when we get an army and we invade over here do we collect everything that they've got do we get like spoils of war do we take over their entire village the way that it is is it going to be another player which would be crazy because if just on this one map if you had 10 players that could be sensational but the game is absolutely beautiful um, the details that he's put into the game just with simple things like water on the road um, of course early beta there's going to be a couple of glitches there's a couple of glitches that I've found already but anyway we're nearly at the at the stage of the church and that's the biggest uh, glitch that I've had so I'm just waiting to get enough get enough logs because I think you need 30 logs to finish it all in one go otherwise it doesn't work now this time I've got four oxen and hopefully they can all get get it done in pretty quick time um, I just built another eight eight houses there so I should have plenty of people um, like I said I've been going hard on making sure I've got plenty of houses but I'm also making um, being careful making sh sure I've got food and the food production is really cool okay like all early access games farming is glitchy um, it says something and then it doesn't do it and then it does something that it shouldn't do and all that sort of stuff also I've noticed that there's a bit of a glitch on the farms and you get a bit of a black thing and sometimes you get a bit of a triangle prism going in there but anyway I'll get back to you in a second and show you what I'm up to
So, I was just all set up and then I noticed that my food production just fell through the roof. And if I don't do something about it, everyone's going to die. So I had to build another six houses just so that I could finish off the, that mill and another oven. Because if it keeps going like this, it's going to be an absolute disaster. So, bear with me. We're nearly there. So when it starts glitching out like that, I just pull away, let it settle down. I can hear my computer. My computer is going crazy at the moment. It's just going wah. So that's it. Uh, and my digital card's pretty decent. But it's, it's thinking. And if you move in a bit, it goes away. Well, there's, a, there's a lot happening at the moment. So I just added in these six houses over here. So hopefully I can fill out this communal oven and this windmill. And that should give me plenty of flour. My flour is dropping quickly. If that falls apart, I'm all over. And that because bread's all I've got. I've got a bit of milk and a bit of eggs, but... That's not going to hold, what have I got now, 200 people. So that's not going to hold 200 people together. But you can see, you know, the investment. I've got lots and lots of houses, just trying to get as many workers as I possibly can. I've got one, two, three, four, five communal ovens now, with three on each, so 15 people in all of them. I've got all my logs coming in because I know I still got to have 30 logs we haven't even started yet this video is all about it's supposed to be building a church and I haven't even got there yet and I'm still dropping but anyway we've put in this slot and they should start filling this out and there's three of them in there one, there's another two houses to be built, so they'll fill up that. And then we can start um, processing this 1,400 wheat that I've got in storage. So this is the general idea, is that I'm going to put the church over here. I've already cleared that area away. So the church will go in there. Now as soon as you put down the church and it's finished, you get a message to say that you need tax to pay to the king. And to pay the king, you've got to build a fort. So I'm hoping that I can build it here. Now, if I can't build it there, it's going to go up on top. That's the more logical place, which is which is where I'd build a fort, which would be on top of the hill. But And every time I do this, the game glitches out. Um, if you don't have enough logs, it doesn't work. If you do it half assed there's a certain way that you've got to do it. Okay, so the foragers have got nothing left. Do we have any more foraging? No. Alrighty. Okay, so let's just deal with them. Let's get rid of them. Put them on the farming. Can't put them on the farming. I've got enough. But I do need firewood, so I might just build another firewood station. Let me get one in there. Yeah, that'll do. And then the, they can go in there and keep our firewood up because our firewood's getting low as well. 
But anytime you see this black glitchy stuff, beware. I try to keep away from it. Anyway, we're up to 13. We'll come back. Hopefully this time. Hopefully this time we can do it. Alright, here we go. So, it's just turned into winter. I didn't really want to do this at winter time. But I've got plenty of food. I'm building... Every time you think that you're, you're safe in this game, particularly in the late stage, it just throws up so much shit at you. Uh, so I've just built a forester because I'm running out of trees. I've also got a woodcutter that's under construction. So hopefully they can get that one up. And I've got two people that are waiting to go into line. They're going to go into the firewood because there's only 91. So that can go down really quickly in winter. Okay, now I've got everything clicked off. So I've got the food, two types of food, two types of clothing. Now I had to um, make another stall. So I already had a clothing stall, but it's full of leather. So I had to make another one, and then I actually got some of my cloth in. Well, I did have some. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I got three cloth in there. So that gives me the, the jigsaw puzzle. That gives me the two of them. So now I just need to build the church. So I've got 13 wood. But I've got to be careful here, because when I build the church, immediately it, you only get one one year to pay the taxes and then you've got to build the bailey you've got to build the manor house you've got to build the gatehouse and then you've got to build a treasury house so i've just poured myself a drink okay i've just got some johnny walker so that if this works i can have a celebration because this has taken about 18 hours so far with all the restarts and the can't save All right, so here we go. We're going to build the church. I didn't want to do this in winter, but we're going to do it. So here we go. Let's turn that bad boy around. Let's put it like that. Okay. Let's build a road in there. Straight up to the church. And let's go forward and hopefully our oxen we've got four of them hopefully we can get this church up we've got plenty of everything and we're going up in food which is good so the only thing I'm worried about at the moment is our firewood but that seems to be holding strong and as soon as we get this next one up I'm going to be putting two people onto it. So I've got all the people. I've got enough of everything. Let's hope that we can get through winter. Actually, winter's not too bad. It's not winter. It's it's the April. It's the February and the April that really kills you. That's when your firewood really goes down. But anyway, let's get this church up, and then we can upgrade our three and just see what the next quest is. I haven't seen anyone do this before. Every, every one I watch, except for uh, Raptor, he's the only one I've seen that actually gets into the game. And I think he's got some sort of some sort of thing from the developer. But I haven't seen anyone else get past to actually upgrade three of their Burgage. Or Burgage, or whatever you want to call them. So, fuck it. I'm going to have... I'm going to have a drink now. Let's hope it works. Mm, that's good. Okay, so we've already got two oxen coming in there, so we need seven of them. And then, after this, we've got to collect 30 wood. And hopefully it doesn't glitch out, because this is the stage it always glitches out. I might just take a picture of that, because that looks pretty good at the moment. No, I'm not going to spin around because every time I spin around it goes all crazy. 
out there. So we'll take a picture of that one and then hope I might be able to use that one. You know, just want to keep away because as soon as you start seeing that black stuff come in and the prisms come in, it's no good. Okay, so our oxen are going well. We're halfway through the church. We've still got two people. Have we finished? Okay, let's put them on over here. So we're down to 64, just changed. So hopefully those two people can pump up our fuel. We're up to December, we've still got three months. If I run out of fuel, uh, all right, lots of food. Last time I always run out of food, but my food, my bread production now is just elite. I've got so much wheat going on. All right, we've got uh, 108 flour, so we just can't do anything. We've got malt, I've got ale, 82 ale, cloth, 56. I'm selling. Actually, you're talking about that. I'm selling. I'm up to 33 on my coin, so I've sold. I'm selling leather. There's another four. Actually, I'm selling pelts now, I think. No, still selling leather, but anyway, I don't mind. And then I can actually upgrade another one, so let's put some chickens in there. So that'll give us some more eggs. So how are we going here? Alright, these people are in. 61. We're still dropping. 60. I'm, go I'm actually going up in food, which is unbelievable in in winter. 61 back on the thing. So those two people have helped. And I'm also up to 20 on the, on the logs, because that's what we need to do. Because next, we've got to build our bailey. Because once we build our bailey, we get our, our king quest. But before that, I just want to upgrade one house. So once this church goes in, we should be fine. We put in this last piece of the puzzle on the faith. And I don't like that because every time you touch anywhere near it, it all goes all funny. And So I'm not, I don't want to go in. I have noticed that if you're going to build a road like this and it's going to be your main road, make sure that it's a good wide road. Whoa, 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 no, no. We don't want that. We want to finish off this church. Come and finish off this church for me. Let's have a cigarette. Alright, i got to do this. Let's go fast. 57, 56, 55, holding, food, okay, alright, now we go back to normal, so now we have the church, now, upgrade, and I've got to upgrade three, so let's do that one, that one. What, you don't have to do anything. What does it cost? Under construction. Okay, so now the horses are going to bring something over, or not, the oxen. Alright, 
so they're bringing in something and that's going crazy so let's move out so we don't get that okay so now we just got a simple upgrade on three of these houses and we'll see what the next one is So, one log, two logs on every house. Three logs. Still 61, we're still holding on our firewood, so that's three logs. And now we've got ready to upgrade all All burgage plot requirements for upgrading have been met. Right, that's a stock damage. So that took four for one. And we're only halfway through. Was that four for one? So everyone needs to be upgraded four logs. He don't no no don't do that. Alright, we're still going up in our food, which is good, and we're holding around the sixty mark on our on our firewood. Yeah, our food's super, superb. So, what have I got there? I've got one, two, three. There's another one over here somewhere. Four. I've got four ovens working. Okay, so that one just upgraded. So I've done one. So now what we can we do with that? Upgrade 104, upgrade 103, upgrade... What the hell does that mean? Alright, okay, so we've got a new message. Alright, okay, so now I've got the kings. Alright, so now we've got 365 days. So we've got a year to do this. We've got 19 logs, but we still haven't upgraded everything yet. So that's not the one that I want, and I don't want to do that yet until we upgrade. Because that's when all the stuff happens. So this one's been upgraded, that's a level 2. This one's under uh, construction, this one's... Okay, and it takes 4 logs just to upgrade everything. Okay. God, I wish we could save, because I could save the game and then come back to this point. But anyway, we can't do it, it's just a demo. Alright, we're cool. Let's hope it keeps going. Now, every other time I've built the Bailey, it's stuffed all my oxes up. Every time I build it, they only build half of it, and then the oxes don't do anything. Then you got to demolish it, then you got to rebuild it, and all that sort of stuff, and make sure that you got enough wood for everything. Alright, let's go forward and get these upgraded. And I really didn't want to do this in winter, but it's actually worked out quite well. And my firewood's still hanging at 60, so just adding those extra two workers in there helped. As I said that, it just dropped down to 53. And now it's going back up. 
So it's hanging around the 60 mark, which is where we want it. But this is, February's the one you've got to watch. And my food's just going through the, through the roof. Okay, windmill is full. 352 flour. So I can't keep up with that. I need to build another another oven. But I'm not going to because I need the wood. Because what's happening next is more important. Come on, we just need two more. Jesus Christ, what's the time? Four o'clock in the morning. So this is now a 16 hour project. Okay, I got two. Two's done. Two's upgraded. Okay, so this one, we just need to keep chucking some logs in there. No more glitchy shit, hopefully. Chuck those two in there, boys. all that for food so for these you need the hammers so we just basically just pumping out food at the moment okay so once this one goes up all right now I've got to start thinking about our tax all right so how long's this got Come on, just get this one done, so I can finish this one off. Was that it? Two out of three, we're still at two out of three, what was that noise? Oh, okay, just nothing. Let's go super speed. Where's our oxen? Okay, King's Demands now. So we've only got the King's Demands. Alright, so let's move our wood pile. Okay, so that's done. So we didn't get anything extra for that one. So now we just got to do the King's Demands, which is the difficult one. So we've got to go into the castle. And how many wood do we... We've got 29. we got perfect. Okay. So now let's do the Bailey Wall. So let's start here. Go over to here. Go over to here. Go over to here. Go over to there. So that's 11 gone. Now we've got to build the gatehouse. So we'll put the gatehouse there and then we're going to build the manor house. But we do the manor house at the same time. We can do it. Let's do it all at one go. And then once the manor house is built, the tax collector is built. is open. And then we can get our tax and pay the king. Alright, so let's speed it up, see what happens. We've got all of the wood, we've got everything going on. And then the treasury should be only four. And there's one thing with the treasury, because if you go in the treasury, some, the first time I did it, it gave me 17 silver. The second time I di did it, they gave me nothing. And then it gave me something four years later. And then the fifth time I did it, it said that I didn't have road access. So 
but you can only place it in the bailey. Alright, so we're building a wall around here. Everything seems to be going well. Construction finished, bailey. So this says that the wall's finished, and I can't see the wall finished. I don't know about you guys, but I can't see a wall. So normally you see a wall. We've got a gatehouse. Oh, now she's glitching out again. So I think this might be near the end of the demo. It'd have to be. Because this has been an incredible demo. Yeah, I, I've paid money for games that have nowhere near as much as this game. As this demo. Remember, this is a beta demo. I've pay, I've actually paid money for games that have far less than this. Policies unlocked. What the hell does that mean? What did that say? Policies unlocked. So we can upgrade all them. Well, that's not what we want to do. We want. Oh, we so we got manor house now. So now, we should be able to, yep, so now that, once you get the manor house up, now you can do the tax collector. Now, can you put it anywhere? It has to be on the wall, but there's no wall. So now we've got that, we've got 200, so up here it says that you've got 317 days to pay, but in actual fact you've only got 280 days to pay, which is down here. So normally, that says less than there, but this time it's less the other way. And then, we've minus 5 here and a zero. So the zero is your personal money. This one up here is your personal money. This one here is the income of the village or something like that. I, I'm not too sure. Oh shit, we're down to 26. Woodcutters. Seven. So see what I mean about like early on the year, like February to April, that's when it must be really cold. And we got five. Can't fill that one out anymore. I suppose we can get some cheap food, but we don't want that, we want... So, let's build another... another one of these. We get two of them built, then we can fill them up, and that's our firewood situation done. My, my food's just gone crazy. Okay, so now we've got this done. So now we can go up. Alright, there we go. So this has changed. So apparently there's just been an update. So 
the first time I did this, I got plus 17 money, and that plus 17 goes up here on my personal money, not on the village money. So this time, it said, oh, and then the next four times, it said nothing. But when the when the quest finished, nothing happened. And then it said, oh, no, what did I just say? First time was 17, five times zero, and now it's saying plus 24. So when we get to 263, I will get, well, it's already, well, it just went up there then. So now I've got plus 24 in my personal bank. And then that means that this quest is over. Okay, because when we get, when we count down to the 200 or whatever it is, it will just automatically put me back into the black, which is cool. So let's see what happens after this. So is that one done? So we've got, so we can go three there. Oh. And let's put them over here. And then we've got this one still being built. And I think this is the end of the demo. I've just got to pay the taxes. We don't have anything else after we upgraded. But I, I could upgrade all of these. And they're going to take four each. Well, I've got a, I've got the four, four, four. Can't do it. Okay, but I should, I'll get eight of them upgraded. So this must be the end of it. Construction complete. Wood woodcutter up to 38 all right I think that's it I'll go up under massive mode so what do I think about the game well the game is amazing for a start the game is amazing for a demo to be in such good condition yeah, there's a couple of glitches here and there, but nothing nothing compared to what you get from a triple A game out of Activision. You know, if you paid it seventy dollars for this game and then it was doing this, okay, yeah, sure. But this is a free demo to play. A, a dev, one dev, made an update on a demo. Yeah? If you bought Battlefield forty two, you would be spewing about this sort of stuff that one single guy can do an update while people are playing and he's listening to what they're saying and then you've got a, a triple a multi-billion dollar company that can't even do anything so amazing graphics i really love the the idea i love what he's thinking about um he's thinking about a di diplomacy taking over and then building armies, so it's a mix between a stronghold and Ostriv and SimCity and Medieval Dynasty. And if he gets this all right, this could be a f really serious game. And then, if you can make it PvP, well, imagine if you can play next to your friend. And then you can team up together or you can go against someone else or you can go against each other. This has got everything that most most gamers really want in a game. And oh, well, what I want, older gamers. Older gamers like real games that have got substance and games that will last. And I think this has got the bones. This has got really good bones, this game. And I hope... He gets the funding, and I hope he gets a team together who are passionate about this idea that he is, and I hope that they really go crazy with it.
Because imagine if we could, imagine if we could build a big motherfucking castle in the middle. Wouldn't that be amazing? And imagine all these battles and people coming in and crashing all over, you know, like Age of Empires, but with strategy. And yeah, it's got so much this game if they really take it on. And this is what people are wanting, you know, this is like, this is what gamers want. They want games that they can get their teeth into. They don't want to play all this other crap that's forced down their throat. They don't want to play games that are that are full of money and full of gambling and full of all this crap. That we, we want to play a game that we can lay down or sit down and, and think about and have fun with and, and you know... Um, imagine, imagine what the modding community could do to this game. Imagine if we did, we changed all this, and we made it Chinese, or we made it Japanese, or we, or they made it Lord of the Rings. Imagine what sort of fun you could have, you know. Imagine all the different ideas and everything, and that's the potential this game's got. But anyway, we're down to 165, so we'll come back and let's hopefully we'll see the end of this demo. So here we are, I think we're at the end, we're down to the last 20 years, 20 minutes. And I just want to tell everyone to support this game. Because we can see, we can see the potential in the game. And this is what real gamers actually enjoy. I've loved every single minute of this demo. I've had more fun with this demo than I've had with most games that I've bought. And I've paid $20, $30 for games and I've thrown them away in about four minutes. I spent $80 on Battlefield 42 and I had a gutful after 40 minutes and just I, I deleted the game and I never ever played it ever again. And this is a battle... I've been playing Battlefield for 20 years. Because people who understand gaming understand what they want. And they understand that they want an interesting game that's challenging and rewards you for being challenged. And this is a... This I keep calling it a game. It's not a game. It's a demo. It's a demo of a game that might be. But even the demo is more challenging than all of the last releases I've seen. Think about all the great games that we've had in the last year and a half. It's Valheim, it's Medieval Dynasty, and now hopefully it's going to be this. All the other AAA games are just shit. They're just shit. They just want your money. This is a game. And it's got the bones, it's a skeleton at the moment, but it's a skeleton. The other games are pretending to be something. This is a real game. And if they can incorporate a diplomacy game where you've got a map this big, and then hopefully another map this big this could turn into a total war stronghold medieval dynasty ostriv it could be really amazing and if they do this right this could be the this could scratch the itch that everyone is actually waiting for and from what we've seen from their early, well, from his early stuff, with the battle scenes, we could even get like a, a Banner Lords and, and all sorts of stuff going on here. But this is a great start. The game looks fantastic. It plays fantastic. Sorry. The demo looks fantastic. It plays fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Even little shit going there and you've got music and you're watching people and and everything is designed well. Imagine imagine if Battlefield did this. 
everyone turns around and goes, oh yeah, it's only a beta, it's only a beta. Like, this, this guy's done it better than a AAA studio. So get on board, give him all the support and give him all the love that you need to do. Give him good criticism. Don't just be an arsehole. Tell him exactly what you think the game needs because there's people out here and people in the indie industry that are wanting to give it because they know there's money and we're all sick to death of being ripped off for crap that we don't want. So like the game, support the game, like my channel, support my channel and we'll see you in the next one. That's the finale.